unfortunately, uh, the, as of right now, there is no known cause for visual snow, to the best of my knowledge. And I know there's a lot of speculation. A lot of people on the internet like to think they know what causes it. But to the best of my knowledge, no one currently knows. And it will probably be several years before we have a full understanding of it. I would really be interested to see a comprehensive data analysis be done so that we could start identifying certain clusters of uh, behaviors or environmental factors that are uh, highly correlated with individuals with visual snow. Because there's an answer most likely out there. Uh, we just need to have a sufficient sample size and a sufficient data set in order to determine that. Uh, the source of visual snow is uh, very questionable at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the community has not really discovered how the brain encodes these uh, higher, what I call, cognitive levels. We don't even know the code involved in that. So to try and figure out where this source would be, not knowing what to look for specifically, makes it very difficult. So right now there's really no answer to where it is. It's probably in the thalamus, which is the central brain, uh, right in the physical center of the brain, which is very hard for surgeons to uh, reach. So we have very little information on where it might actually be. We do not know what causes visual snow. The research that's being done to help us understand visual snow, I can only speak from my own perspective. I know other groups are looking at um, imaging techniques, for example, to try and dissociate those with and without visual snow. And we're certainly wanting to do that as well, but we're running behavioural and perceptual tests at the moment to provide objective markers of the disorder. The cause of visual snow is difficult to determine. I think we're honing down onto the causes of visual snow because as I've suggested, this is network disruption. Um, but we don't know specifically in any one patient where or what that disruption might be. Uh, in part, it may be related to the fact that the visual cortex is hyperactive. But the question arises as to whether that is purely a visual cortex phenomenon and the visual cortex itself is hyperactive or whether the inhibitory systems that control the uh, excitation level of the, um, of the visual cortex are in fact deficient. And the two, either, either explanation will give you the same final outcome. So we're getting there, but it's, it's, it's fairly early times. In, in fact, if you think about it, uh, given how little we knew about this syndrome 20 years ago, we know an awful lot about it now even though there are only a few people working in the area. At the moment we don't know what causes them. If, if I understood the process I think I'd start to understand the, the cause and certainly um, understanding the causes uh, is, is, is key eventually to cure. We've spoken to a lot of people with visual snow in the last five years. I don't, there isn't a single theme in the onset that you could apply to everybody. Indeed, uh, we've spoken to quite a few patients who can remember it as long as they can remember from childhood. And I've spoken to, to children, literally four-year-olds with this problem. So clearly there's, a, there's a, clearly there's a range of reasons, the range of ways and reasons of which can be turned on. It's difficult, um, but we're getting there. One thing we do know that it is really an organic uh, condition and I, do, I really believe that. What I mean by organic is that there really is an area, um, uh, an abnormal area of activity or hyperactivity if you want to call it uh, in the um, visual cortex which is the area of the brain responsible for vision. So I mean PET scanning has revealed that there, is, there are areas of hyperactivity uh, and uh, so, yes, yeah, so I think that's probably what causes it. Why does it occur? I mean, we don't know that. If we know what occurs, why, we don't know yet. But at least knowing what occurs is a step forward.